Are you curious on what the average day of an army chaplain looks like? Well, you're in luck because for the next few minutes, I'm gonna share with you what my day looked like today. So tune in. Hey everybody, welcome to the Tattooed Chap. I'm Drew, the Tattooed Chap, and today I'm gonna share with you some video clips and some thoughts from my day as an army chaplain. So that way you have a little bit of a glimpse of what the average day of an army chaplain looks like. Now, one thing I wanna share before we get started is when we talk about an average day, that means it's average. There's always gonna be things that are different. Some things are gonna look the same, but today is just gonna be an average day to hopefully help you get an idea of what chaplaincy looks like and maybe to see if this is the right calling for you. But before we jump into those video clips and some of the descriptions of that stuff, I want you to make sure to follow me on Instagram and also follow me on LinkedIn so that way we can know each other professionally. And if you have not yet done so and you've watched more than one of my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you know when future videos are coming out. So let's get started. So one thing I wanna share about these video clips is I didn't capture everything in my day. I mean, this is gonna be like a 10 minute video max and my day was eight hours long, right? A few things that I didn't capture that I wanna put out there at the very beginning is this. Every morning I do PT with a squad, whether it's my UMT, my unit ministry team, or some other group of soldiers. And this morning we did a three mile ruck march uh, with 35 pounds in our rucksack, which is a, a military backpack. So that's the first thing that you're not gonna see in this video. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about ruck marching, make sure to check out my other video that talks about ruck marching. The second thing that you're not gonna see in this video is any pastoral counseling. Chaplains have 100% confidentiality when it comes to counseling soldiers. But I want you to know that on the average week, I counsel five to 10 soldiers, it depends on the week. And typically each counseling session is 45 minutes to an hour long. And it can vary from anything from marriage issues to personal spiritual things, to trauma that a soldier experienced either before they joined the military or maybe even during their time in the military. Now that I put that out there, let's watch these clips. And again, remember that this is average and days can look a lot different than this, but sometimes they can look a lot like this. So let's watch them. So an average day in the army sometimes is just going to a lot of meetings and just got done doing a bunch of meetings with uh, chaplains talking about uh, services and all that kind of stuff. But that's kind of like a normal thing uh, as a chaplain is meetings, whether it's with other chaplains or with your staff. Here's the deal, oh, yeah. we're all passing information to each other. The more streamlined it'll be, yeah, I think the easier it'll be. For um, and just kind of coordinate ministry, religious support, and just general training. What are we gonna do? And those types of things. And when you do that stuff, sometimes you have to drive places and sometimes you walk, depending on how far it is. Um, I got several hours a week in meetings, but you can even minister in those times, in those meeting places. So yeah, some really good ministry can happen in meetings. Now I'm gonna head to the office and I'm gonna work on doing some, what they call con ops, which is concept of operations for some different ministry events that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do a Financial Peace University course for the brigade and also do um, some resiliency hikes and work on some of that stuff. So yeah, computer work. So this is a chaplain's office. You got my Captain America pop collection there, art for my kids, a mess of other things. Awesome. Some different plans for ministry events. So yeah, this is a military chaplain office and we do planning in here. I also do counselings in here, um, but this stuff isn't all over the place. Today's a planning day and some people, some chaplains have their office like really squared away and um, really professional looking. I like to have my office fun. I like to be comfortable in it. And also I don't spend a lot of time in my office. At least I try not to. And um, so I don't need to feel professional because I'd rather be out in the field or doing that kind of stuff. You get to set your office up how you want. Now there is a war hero. Look him up. 
How's it going, y'all? Hey, sir. How was the range? Oh, it was good. Oh, cool. Oh, no, I haven't yeah, seen you forever, like, man. Yeah, I try to, I try to sneak some rounds out. They won't let me. So. Uh, <laughs> did you, did you guys already go? Or are you guys going no, right, we're going, now? We're right going now? Right now. You still but. doing a thing on Sunday, sir? About yes, lunch? we will be doing um, church service on Sunday at 9:30. 9:30. Yeah, okay. okay. I just cool. gotta remember. Yep. I've, I've been putting that off. I was like, I should probably go, and then I wake up like at nine something. I was like, there's something I was supposed to do today. <laughs> All right, then I'll go to that one, sir. Okay, cool. Which August 9th. Which one's that one? August 9th. August 9th. Here. Uh, 9.30? 9.30, right here, this field. Right. Every Sunday, we're going to be having service out here. So, awesome. right, cool. You. See y'all. Have fun at the range. Thank you. Yeah, so just uh, random bumping into soldiers, talking to them, you build relationships, and just have a good time and encourage them and all that good stuff. It's one of the things that's awesome about being a chaplain is just loving Joe's. So what is it like being a chaplain? What's an average day like? You know, that's a question that's really hard to answer because every day is different and it depends on what your mission of your unit is because you are nested in your unit and their training schedule is fluctuates every day. And um, so, you know, one week you might be getting prepped to go to the field for a few weeks. And so that week's gonna look a lot different than a week where you're not in the field. Um, but I would say the average day, you know, you're gonna be doing some counseling. Um, you're gonna walk around, talk to Joe's, go to where they're working um, or where they're training. Uh, you'll have meetings. Um, you'll be doing paperwork on the computer. And I think the real idea though, when it comes to being a chaplain is Try not to get stuck in the office. If you're in the office counseling, that's one thing, but try not to get stuck doing paperwork because that is a thing that will consume you if you let it. There's always more paperwork you can do. So what can you do to satisfy your job as a staff officer and to allow you to do ministry, but then get to where the soldiers are and hang out with the soldiers? And I think that is the everyday battle that chaplains face. Um, it's not all the other things. I think that's the biggest thing is we're here to serve the soldiers. If we're typing some kind of paperwork, then we're not with the soldiers. And so how can we balance that? Um, I once heard a person say, um, it was a pastor friend of mine talking about creating white space on your calendar, space where there's nothing going on during that time because there's always gonna be something that pops up. So having that white space will allow you to be flexible in your ministry while still uh, accomplishing the goals that you have. So those are just some thoughts I have. I'm gonna go have some lunch with my family and then come back to work. So this is our housing. It's like a three bedroom house and all that kind of stuff, backyard. Pretty cool, pretty big size, probably the biggest house I've ever lived in. There's like four or five parks that are within walking distance that your kids can play at typically and a couple splash parks and stuff too. Elementary schools and high schools, middle schools on posts. Kind of nice if you want to send your kids to that. In the army, work is never done. There's always more to do. And if you allow yourself to, you can overwork and um, not take care of yourself. And uh, so I make sure that I go home and spend family time, invest in my family because who knows when I'm going to be in the field. Anyways, I try to invest in my family and protect my family time to love them and show them that I love them, but also just to invest and work on our family. So, yeah. So, uh, just finished working in the office and typing up some paperwork and con ops for some events that we're doing and uh, filled out some paperwork for some of the events that we're doing and all that kind of stuff. So getting all that squared away kind of doing the staff side of making sure that we get soldiers for our events. And now I'm gonna be heading over to um, our battalion's lane for our infantry squad competition that's happening tomorrow. Today, our lane's getting validated and getting set up and going out there to support the soldiers, talk to them and um, know where to be tomorrow so I can support our Joes as they go through this and hopefully they win. So should be fun. We'll head out there and I'll show you around. So what is a squad competition? A squad competition is um, soldiers in a squad, of course, and they are competing with different soldiering skills, trying to sharpen themselves and themselves as individuals, but also as a team. And they have all these different stations with different soldiering skills. The squad competition with the fastest time wins. It's a pretty big deal. And in infantry world, you know, 
it's kind of a big thing. Good bragging rights for the battalion, but also for the squad and the soldiers. So we just pulled up into the area. We're gonna walk over and I'll show you a little bit around and then, yeah, we'll go from there. There you go. Over here. I'm gonna give you How's it going, y'all? Doing good. You're on camera. Ring, bus stock, bolt, barrel, trigger assembly, B tray, B tray cover, and receiver. Yeah, nice. Good oh, stuff, good stuff. <laughs> hey. Oh, I need to see it. So right now we got two soldiers. What they're gonna do? What's what's the competition going on right now? The competition is they're gonna take apart the 240, sir, uh -huh. and see who does it in the fastest time, putting them back together. Cool. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, 26. 23 right. and 26. Good job, y'all. Three, two, one. Switch overs. Five, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Good job. Faster than I could do it. <laughs> That's cool. That's what I'm talking about. That's cool. So another thing that's kind of interesting about the army and the chaplain life is sometimes things don't go as planned. And that's okay because, you know, God's in control and you're trusting him. And when things don't go as planned, oftentimes that means there's a great opportunity for ministry, which happened today. So I told you I was coming out here to check on the, the lanes for the squad competition. And we were supposed to have our meeting and huddle and all that kind of stuff at 2.30 or 14.30 for all you non-military folk. It is now 17.15 or 5.15 and the meeting still hasn't occurred, but I have an appointment that I have to get to. So I've been out here waiting all day, uh, or at least the last few hours in the hot sun and all that stuff. And that's okay, because um, I had a great opportunity talking to a lot of different soldiers and just talking to them about life. Uh, sometimes some really cool counseling moments and God moments come out of those times. As I said earlier, you need to create that white space. And uh, because I created white space on my calendar and all that kind of stuff, I'm not like behind on work. It's part of being a chaplain and it's cool. It's fine and it's fun. So yeah, now I'm gonna head home and go do the other thing that is on my calendar for the evening. So we'll see you later. So there you have it. You got to see video clips of me throughout the day. One of the things I think is important to recognize, and this is my opinion, is that being a chaplain isn't so much the little things that you're doing throughout the day. Rather, it's who you're with, where you are at. In the Army, we have a cliche saying that says, chaplaincy is the ministry of presence. A lot of people push back on that, but I think there's truth in every cliche. Chaplains, when they're with soldiers, have opportunities to minister with them. And so as a chaplain, you try to make the most of the time that you have so that way you can be with soldiers and meet them and their needs where they're at while they're doing their job. Because honestly, they're busy. And so if you're with them, then you have an opportunity to encourage, to bless, to talk with them while they're doing their other things. And also, you are a person that cares and loves them and you can bring that hope to a pretty miserable situation. So one thing I think when I say average day is really I think the average day of a chaplain should be, if it's not, is with soldiers for a good chunk of that time. If you're not interacting with your soldiers, then you're kind of missing the mark as a chaplain. So hopefully this video helped you understand a little bit more what an army chaplain does 
on active duty on an average day. And even in the guard and the reserve, it can look a lot like this at times as well. Well, thank you for tuning in today to the Tattoo Chap. Hopefully you found something of value in this video. If you like it, make sure to hit that like button and share it with someone that may be interested in chaplaincy as well. And if you would like to comment below, maybe you're a chaplain that's watching this and you have some thoughts or inputs that you wanna share, or maybe you have some questions about some of the stuff you saw or didn't see, make sure to comment down below so we can answer that because we are a learning community. Again, thank you for tuning in and we will see you guys and gals next time on the Tattooed Chapter.